Hey everyone, before this episode starts, it's important to remember anything we say on this podcast should be taken as a bad joke and should not be taken seriously, ever. Take your balls. Welcome, yeah. everybody. Wait, I'm not ready. Slightly diverse podcast. <laughs> it's too late. It is I, Milk. I am joined by First our Gus. First week back, I already ruined the intro. Our Gus is talking intro? over yep, yep, me. Yep. And then, uh, of yep, course, yep. we got Bordelon. Um, yeah, of course. Speak Wait. Wait. All right. <laughs> wait. Wait yeah. for what? Wait. Oh, wait. You can't say fuck. <laughs> you okay, now I'm ready. I was gonna say, what's going on? We already oh, started, Barlon. It's <laughs> too late. Stop talking. Stop, Stop talking. talking to your brother. All right, I'm ready. Go ahead. I, well, go, no, go, no, go, go, go ahead. Start. Go ahead. Start. Go ahead. Start. I'm ready. Started. It's already yeah. going. Where are we going? Sorry, is is are we good. rolling? Second are we episode. live? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We are. Oh, wait. Are we actually though? <laughs> are we rolling? I, I need to. I need to get you a shock collar so I can shock you both <laughs> whenever you talk over me during the intro. <laughs> yep. Because uh, are you are you still out in the security shed, uh, Borlon? Are we rolling? <laughs> yeah, his brain <laughs> fell out of his head. <laughs> it's too much. Too much. Too many nights out in the cold. He's actually we inside of the outhouse to. now. He protects that place now. Oh, the yeah. rabbits and I are the rabbits and I have communed. Did you get downgraded, dude? What happened? Did I get what? Did you get this? Did you get downgraded? Because now you're in the outhouse. Yeah. He's. I, I think we're. Are we live? <laughs> yes, we are yes. live. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to the. <laughs> shut, the fu- <laughs> shut up! Shut up! Shut up! No, we already did that. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Orlon became the ass wiper for the whole whatever the fuck he works at. I don't know what it's what what it is. No, milk. That's a better joke. What I just did. <laughs> no, your jokes are always bad, and they piss me right off. <laughs> they always make me insane with rage and 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 anger. Well, first off, before I tell you what I'm going to tell you, are we rolling? Huh? All right, we are rolling. All right, good. Fuck you. Yeah, who are you talking to? Yeah, how many seconds has it been? Wait, can we talk about that? Seconds? The fuck are you? Oh talking no, about? I think I think I think you know who scans for. The hell are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. I don't know, man. You got you guys have both lost your minds. <laughs> what the fuck? Has it been a great start, gents? You guys are confusing the. It sure has. Out of sure me. has. Well, I, I don't know. Uh, the people uh, that we, the platform that we post this stuff on. Uh, they like to scan it's a conservative platforms. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's people. It could be. Yeah, people. Like they're, they're AI robot that's going to take us all out one day. Well, you know, I did want to say this. I, I don't know if we talked about this, but Susan is, is in fact, retiring. She's retiring. I don't know if that looks... She will be, I believe. Does that she's mean, stepping... That means she's YouTube's going to get YouTube. better or, or a thousand times um, worse. It, 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 it could be... It, she could either... Uh, stay the exact same it could get worse or it uh or yeah or it or it'll get better it, it who knows what it means all those vtubers are gonna be like no vtubers are too weird looking and then i'm just gonna, gonna die i'm just gonna i'm just gonna say out at the gate um that probably not it's probably gonna stay the same i love vtubers dude. <laughs> And yeah, you two, you saw, you saw, you watched the, you, did you see the streamer awards? No, I don't watch that. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, <laughs> AP. Okay, okay. I had a category for B2 wins, though. I drew cool. a big lipped fella right here. Mm. It's actually very funny looking. <laughs> we can't actually see it, so. <laughs> oh, my bad. Well, I mean, maybe I don't want to see. Oh, this is pretty funny. But yeah, didn't uh, Iron Mouse win something or something like that? Yeah, she won Streamer of the Year. Oh, or not Streamer of the Year. She won VTuber of the Year or Best VTuber. Yeah, Iron Mouse is pretty cool. Um, yeah. I heard she has like a crazy disease, though. It's kind of sad. Uh, I don't 
I don't, I don't know the exact details, but from what I know, she is currently heard... going for fair. She has like yeah, AIDS or something. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I, yeah, AIDS, no, but... it was um, it was uh, herpes up the ass. That's what it was. <laughs> That's <Okay>. horrible. Uh... <laughs> Iron Mouse, I'm your biggest fan. Please come on my terrible podcast. <laughs> I don't know who the fuck you are, bitch. No, Iron Mouse is wow. cool. She's Puerto yeah. Rican, so she knows she probably gets good. People probably call her Mexican all the time. Um, so, there's a difference <laughs> there's a difference yeah there is a big difference one is cool and one is uh, small and floods but um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow wow you just made every Puerto Rican who, who might have listened to this podcast Listen, angry Mexicans and Puerto Ricans have kind of like a what, what's love hate relationship way? yeah we like we like each other but we also uh, we're like because we always get mixed up people always think I'm, I'm Puerto Rican too I'm like not even close, man. Different, bro, different coast. That's why, bro. That's why I play a save and just say Latino. That's literally all I say. Yeah, you say Latin. If someone corrects me on it, I don't say Latinx unless someone corrects me saying it. But like, if if, if I someone say it, tells someone's you... like, nah, it's uh, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, uh, Argus. If I say it, someone's like, nah, call me say call me Latinx. I'm like, okay, you're Latinx. Argus. If someone tells you called me latinx you just you just stop talking you walk away that's what you do you just, like, don't even acknowledge them anymore. as as a per, as a non-latino person i'm not gonna take the word of a single latino person <laughs> and uh i just I'll, i'm gonna i'm just playing it safe bro i'm just the playing corrupt safe. president of mexico agrees with me and so does the cartel <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear, you heard about the, the cartel kidnapping a couple Americans and killing two of them, right? That's crazy. Well, did you hear what the cartel did after, after what? the whole ordeal? What did they do? Um, Had sex with their bodies? Found, no, they found, uh, they found <laughs> near like, uh, either a federalist like pol station, like police station or like military post or hell, maybe even outside the U.S. embassy. I don't remember exactly what. But they had tied up four four of their own guys. They were beat up pretty bad, and they left a note apologizing to the United States, That's saying cool. like, uh, they were saying like, these are the men who did it. We're incredibly sorry. We don't know what they were doing. You know, please forgive us. We don't target Americans. That's not that's not our thing. Um, they were dead. Uh, no, they uh, from what I knew, they weren't dead, but they have been taken into custody by uh, U.S. authorities. Nah, so the car the cartel turned in their own guys as apology. Yeah, as an apology. To, you're not supposed to break the rules in the cartel. No, it, it's it, in in the cartel. It's a huge rule. Uh, like if you want to fuck with people, that's cool. Don't mess with Americans though. Yeah, Americans are off limits for for. Uh, they for usually the just kill kill them. They usually just kill them, then like fuck them in the ass or something. Yeah, know. but they were probably doing it as a sign of good <laughs> faith. Like you hey, know what, here, you guys want to. Well, like, what's up? Like when you think about like gangs, right? Where like they like rape their their like members that went out of line or whatever. Like they have like a, <laughs> like I just think it's funny that they have like a, you know, like a chained you know up they rapist. Jump them in. You know, you know how they jump them in. In this case, they fuck them in. <laughs> yeah, they have like they have like a like a like a resident rapist that they just keep around. Just so it's like all right, rape that guy. Like the like the one or two guys that are willing to rape someone. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it's kind of funny to me that they have him around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a gimp almost. He's, he's like dressed like a gimp. Like, hey bro. <laughs> like, hey people. bro. It's time to go to work. <laughs> the, gimp, the gimp is sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's what that's that's the that's the uh thing you're gonna do when we open up the Kermit forces. The Kermit forces uh united. That's gonna be our gang. Day. Nice, happy. I'm happy for you. <laughs> You're gonna be the resident rapist, and Borbon's gonna be the muscle. Oh, you, uh, are, are you saying me? Yeah, you're the rapist. Wait to get to no, work. No, 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 no. I'm like, get the gimp, Borlon, and then Borlon says, "Yes, sir," and he he opens the box. He goes, yes, boss. Goes, yeah. yeah. Goes, yes, massa. <laughs> because the roles are reversed. White people are the slaves. Yeah, yeah he's a slave now. He goes, yes, massa, yes. 
I'll do it. And then he starts singing like a like a slave song while he does it. Like get while it brings you in. <laughs> you know oh, I, 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 man, I love it when my arguments are strong, man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I just think that's real funny. I've had like I, I you know this is a little off topic, but I'll say this. I've had like um, I've had I've made the comment before in in public and saying like you know like. For, for slavery and shit, black people should get some kind of reparations, right? And mm-hmm. this is always how it ends. You get that, that one person says, oh, so you're saying that we should just have the government go in and uh, and kick in the doors of, every, of like uh, thousands of white families, beat the husbands, rape the wives. <laughs> and I don't know if I can say that. Just be like, basically say <laughs> like, oh, you just want to have the government go and kick in doors and just steal thousands of dollars from white families? And I'm like, no. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. I don't think that's uh, what it, I don't. This guy's like imagining like a weird like fetish of his or something. Like, like what's no, it's like it's old. Oh, so you're I, saying that the government's just kind of come in with a bunch of four strong guys bending me over <laughs> my towel, pull my pants down, and take strong, strong, take advantage guys. of me. Big dark, big, big and dark guys. On strong. Just to grip my arms so bad that I can't even grip the counter whenever <laughs> I, while I clench my like, teeth and get railed from behind. <laughs> They, like, squeeze Is that what you're saying? Call me funny looking, and then they just. Like, I am fully on board. Kiss me against, they like push me up against the wall with their big <laughs> hands, like big huge hands. They're big. You think you're saying hands. that they're gonna put a little bell on me and 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 call me the <laughs> little, little fuck kitty? Put you in a dress. <laughs> put you in a dress and call you princess. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. that's funny. That is what they're gonna do though. <laughs> no, it very well could be. Um, no, it's fine. No, I just, I just love. I my, welcome I, it. I just love when my arguments get a straw man. It's super fun. I guess my wife's just gonna have to watch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> my wife watches. They take her. They take my her feeding frenzy on her as well. My wife's into it also. <laughs> my wife, her butt plug falls out because her butthole opened up from being horny you're saying you're saying but a bunch of fucking beefy <laughs> military men are gonna come in tie me up and, and put a chat ch- put a, a cock ring on me they have while, big, while i watch hands. them bang, bang my wife big hairy hands with fucking calluses all over them rough <laughs> rugged hands rough, rough, rough rugged hands yep they can cut my genitals with one hand only <laughs> But anyways, what the hell are we talking about? We're talking about a car. Oh, yeah. I know. I, I got caught start, up in, in the heated. Wait, hold up. Did we, did we start fantasizing? What the hell? <laughs> I just had a, a I just, my eyes just glazed over. Did I just nut? Out. What's going on here? <laughs> Boy, oh, shit. Line, really? Boy line's covered in mayo right now. Oh, uh oh. <laughs> a little mayo monkey. Oh, mayo monkey. <laughs> that sounds that's actually that? that sounds like an that actual actually racist does sound thing. racist. I don't know that's what to say about that. That's literally the point. <laughs> that sounds like legitimately like a, like a white slur. <laughs> like it is not, it mayo is, monkey. It is. <laughs> it is. It's rich. Like I'm trying intense. trying to try to talk to a black guy, and the second I talk to him, he goes, "Fuck up, mayo monkey." <laughs> I would die laughing if I heard that in so how, so, so how would that make, so how would that make you feel, bro? I want like, I want to understand. How would that make you feel? Well, obviously, I'm gonna have to call him a. Ne- Whoa! You can't oh. say that. <laughs> <laughs> cut that. Cut that. <laughs> um, you know. You know what? Though? Like you know, I got an idea for for the next episode. Um, I say the N word. Use this. No. Uh, no, no. no. This is uh, this isn't a re. This isn't like a. Uh, a, like a, re- a soft reboot of the first episode, okay? <laughs> That's not what this is. No, I think it'd be really funny if we all watched a uh, episode, our own episodes of South Park, and then got back to, uh, came back and told told us about our experiences. I already watched so all South-, South Park, though. You already watched all of South Park. Tell us about one of your favorite episodes, man. <laughs> we talked about this, yes, uh, last, last week. Oh, really? Damn, okay. <laughs> That's what I get for being... No, town. Yeah, I said my favorite episode was the cheesing episode where they let the cat spray them in the face with piss <laughs> to get oh, high. Ew, gross. <laughs> I noticed you love to stare at my daughter's rock on text. <laughs> you go like, to the boob world and it has like some crazy ass like animation. <laughs> you know what? Part of... heavy metal. <laughs> Speaking of my Fallout mod, 
Oh God! <laughs> are you really you gonna? Are you really gonna go on record and say this? What have I not said that was <clears throat> bad for record? Are you a Fuda? <laughs> are we? For a trip, I can neither right? confirm nor deny that statement. <laughs> Whoa! That's what I thought was cool about about Cyberpunk was that you could be a Fuda. None of these gents who listen to us can handle my. Giant rock I will say, Cyberpunk is a rather trans-positive universe. <laughs> no, it's not. It's like well, it's like trans -explo exploitation. <laughs> well, of course, anybody, anybody really could just buy their character. But then again, everybody is in that world, so I guess. I'm about to say, like, <laughs> I'm about to say, like, it seems in Cyberpunk, like, it's normal. For example, right, for you to put on like a robotic, be a woman, or I guess I don't know. You know I feel what like I it's in the it's in it, it might be more it's normalized, really... less taboo, you know. Yeah. Literally in the, in the theme song, Rick Ross, he goes, "You gotta put the penis on the plug." <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. I could I could just <laughs> see I could just see trans people having easier lives you in the know? cyberpunk universe. What I don't like in the in cyberpunk the game is that if you become mm -hmm. if you're a Fuda in the game. You still get butt fucked by the chick uh, mirrored in style. I was like, "What's the point? What's the point of having a cock? I'm not using it." What Wait, the hell? What? You still get butt fucked. Prostate. They still just your anal prostate. You. They just anal you because you're a woman. It's, it's your cool. prostate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Feels good. You say that they're, good. they're 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 trans, but like, uh, it doesn't matter because if you have the female you body, <laughs> but with the cock, it doesn't count for something. You still get butt fucked. You don't get to use it. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they updated the game, I don't know, but I I know that when I fucked me or just out <laughs> with, my feet, with my feet with my female cock, it didn't it didn't work. I didn't use it; it was tucked away. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> she put like okay. a bird cage on my penis and then, and then fucked me. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm sorry that she called me. Bro. She called me a good little fuck toy. Did you hey, did did you bang her? The the military. I think I think, every, I think everybody has. Yeah. I don't think. Wait, who I, are I, you, I, who I, are you I talking think about? Get ammunition at this point to like make sure you fuck her when you get to that mission. Wait, who are y'all talking about? The military. This how do you not? Know? Obviously, somebody oh, here has her? a fucked her. Oh, oh yo, I know. I do. I did. I did. I did. I hit that. Oh yeah. Um, I just oh, yeah. forgot about her because of how insignificant it was. Well, your sex story with her then. It really is insignificant. What? She comes up. It's the most tell insignificant thing. Like. <laughs> okay, tell us about the time. What? Tell us about the time you you had sex with Meredith Mar Stout. Meredith Stout. Uh, she's like, I need to talk to you. Honestly, it took me aback to tell you the truth. She's like, I need to talk to you. I was like, okay, yeah, 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 no problem. And um, I went there and walk in and like she's naked and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I also was shocked. I thought it was gonna be like a mission. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is because like it's so early on in the game and I'm like, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, a mission, right? And th and then I just walk in and she's fucking naked. I'm like, oh shit. I guess V just has Riz, dude. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> I don't, I don't even remember. I don't even remember flirting with her. It just kind of happened. That'd be funny if you could so, be yeah. like, gross, dude. And you... <laughs> like, like, what, what the, the fuck? fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> you wrinkly bitch. Like, what? Yuck, yuck, <laughs> yuck. <laughs> That's pointing and screaming, <laughs> screaming yuck at her. <laughs> yeah, honestly. No, yeah. She was kind of hot. She was hot uh, in uh, what was her name? of Meredith, Meredith Stout. Yeah, her name's oh, Meredith. disgusting. She was hot in sort oh, of like a, sure. like a like a milf way. Like, she's like middle. She's like middle age. If you kind of, no, you kind honestly, of you can't tell eyes. how old people are. If you squint your eyes, she's kind of hot. She looks a bit like she, looks, she reminds you a little bit of a uh, of Reba from from well the show Reba. Does anyone know what that show is? What the fuck is Reba? No, say it again. What Reba? Are we rolling? <laughs> stop make, please stop making that joke. Yeah, it's a washed up joke. Man. It gets it gets funnier every time I say it. No, it doesn't. <laughs> it's no, you don't it know takes, comedy. <laughs> don't know comedy. 
Uh, I know I uh, shouldn't mention this, I'd but uh, I prefer you I, stealing Dave Chappelle jokes again over this. <laughs> I, I I I know I shouldn't be saying this, but uh, I I am playing a Fallout 4 modded, and I just got to a point in the mod where it says racy photo. Racy photo. Of your as it, as it, that's what I'm thinking. I'm inspecting. Doesn't say anything. It's not even a photo. It's just cursive You'll letters, like a declaration of it. Then... Record it and we'll use it as backdrop for this episode. Oh, I see. It's a black sick man and a white sick man putting a leash on the black sick man. Okay, so it is a racy photo. It is pretty racy. Okay. I was hoping you would be um, fucking hot and sweet. <laughs> What's your favorite hentai artist? <laughs> I don't think I recognize names. You don't recognize yeah, names? Yeah, I could. Well, not well. Honestly, no one here here is like so deep in the artist community that they like they know people by their art. I think it's easy for you because, <laughs> like you said on a previous episodes, you're so deep in the community that it's like it, it might be just part, easy it's not for like you. I'm part of the community. I just like, no, I just remember like, the, the names of good artists. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm fairly certain you could definitely identify their art though too. Well, yeah, what the fuck? That's what remembering an artist is. You're like, damn, that guy's <laughs> always got some, some hot, sweet stuff. Some hot, sweet and stuff. And every now and then, you know, they make something weird. It's like, ah, oh, this is, uh, I'm still going to beat off of this, but I, <laughs> I'm not happy about it. <laughs> you know what? I, I was like, I'm, I got to, uh, like, run and do something like half a second. I got a rant to go on a sec. One sec. Yeah. Mando Vittori is my favorite artist. Uh, they do some really questionable things sometimes. <laughs> but by God, is their art amazing. It's actually, it actually blows my mind sometimes because they, they do like, do like All right. contortion stuff right. with like, with like their art. And it's like, how the fuck did, did this guy even know how to draw this? <laughs> it's amazing. Bro, nobody in this damn studio knows how to close doors on God. Nobody knows. How to show me respect. <laughs> you nah, see that video of uh, Stephen Colbert doing that to his <laughs> to his cast and crew. He's waving mm -hmm. he's waving a revolver around. Mm -hmm. It's like someone forgot the fucking coaster. And he starts shooting. <laughs> <laughs> or was that um who else, who else is like a crazy person behind closed doors? Uh, fucking, what's her name? Ellen DeGeneres. Oh, She's like I wish people. <laughs> yeah, it's. Shouldn't... I always wonder. Well, most most of these people are. Let's be perfectly honest. I always wonder who's like the nicest person on camera, and then is just like a evil monster. I've heard. Oh, on camera. Uh, I can say with confidence that like the most um like what people have reported probably the nicest person who on and off camera is uh Keanu Reeves. No, from yeah. what I've heard. I've heard Keanu Reeves is a really nice dude. There's like a there's like an hour video of him just talking to people because their their plane got delayed so they all have to like wait. Uh, he's just like being nice to all these like regular people, dude. Yeah, like uh, I'd heard a story. I don't know how true it is, but I had heard a story about a uh, a guy who, like, since his grandpa had died, his grandma uh, had become like bedridden. But like because of the trauma, she was or she was so distraught that she just really didn't want to be out in the world anymore. So she passed her time by watching John, uh, like, <laughs> by by watching Keanu Reeves movies and uh. She really, really liked Keanu Reeves, so he ran into him, and he was telling her, like, you know, thank you, bro. My grandma, ever since my grandpa died, you know, she's been super depressed, and your films and everything has have really helped her. And he's like, well, well, why don't we call her? So so this guy, like, face, so Keanu Reeves on this dude's phone FaceTimes his grandma <laughs> and just talks to her for, like, an hour. Wow. So... Yeah, no. For what I've heard, Keanu Reeves is a fucking awesome dude. What if your What if Keanu Reeves was your friend? He did that in front of you. If he was a friend, yeah. Would you be like, bro? He's my... Hang on, on this. Bitch. What if? What <laughs> if your grandma made a? What if your What if your grandma made a move on you? Hmm? 
What'd you do? My grandma's dead, you monster. <laughs> Not you. Not you. Is your grandma alive? I'm fully aware of your lost milk, and I am not making fun of it. <laughs> Are your guys' uh, grandparents alive? Because I, I don't have any grandparents anymore. That was the last one. There was... Uh, let me... T I actually have a story. Uh, I was a bully a lot in high school, especially by this one girl that everybody considered really hot. But, like, to me, uh -huh. she was a bitch. Yeah. Did um, you inevitably fuck her as, like, revenge? That would be so no. cool. Uh, but <laughs> there was this one time she lost her aunt, and mm -hmm. then, like, much later on, I ended up losing my grandmother, who, mm -hmm. you know, left me that trust fund. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, she found out parents, that yeah. I, she lost, yeah, yeah, she lost that, she found out that I lost my grandmother, and she actually approached me and said, I'm really sorry about your loss. Even though she's, like, a bitch to me 100% of the time, she actually, like, mm -hmm. confronted me and then consoled me. Oh, damn, so, that's like, good of her. Yeah, I, I hate her, but I at least respect her for at least yeah, she's probably knowing right and wrong with that. Just a random act of kindness and compassion. I mean, most, yeah. most like, bullies are like, are, like, you know, like, all fucked up at home and shit, right? <laughs> you, even bullies are the be people. <laughs> the, best you can, the best you can do for bullies is literally just feel sorry. It's just feel sorry for them. The best you can um, do to bullies is beat the shit out of them. <laughs> or that, or that, yeah, and make yeah. them feel sorry for themselves. You, you bully know, them. I've, no, don't do that. I've, <laughs> just just I've beat them up never... once and that's it. Yeah, it, <laughs> and, and, and in my... I response, I said, shut the fuck up, bitch. Shut up, bro. <laughs> Use a Miss Daisy, didn't you, hoe. Didn't your grandma die, bitch? <laughs> How deep in the ground is she? She unmarked. Ugly ass Ooh. hell, yeah. <laughs> kind of shoes Why, my grandma was cooler than your dead ass aunt. <laughs> what's, what's, what was that video? It's like, kind of shoes you got in her casket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's Just like that. But that's so why that's my mama dead. <laughs> what she, she got in her, in her casket. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah. No, I've never understood the whole like uh, as as someone who has kind of been bullied. I did my bullying just stopped like randomly one day. I don't know. Maybe the dude decided just to give up. Um, he was on but, vacation and just completely forgot but, you. Yeah, it's because you got bigger. He said, like, "This guy's gonna kill me one day." <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Um, no, I got two oh. stories about. This. So I, I have been bullied. And um, the best, and it's always, it's it never got resolved by like school ad admin, right? Mm -hmm. So like, it, schools have always had this like really dumb policy. We tolerate no fighting, right? But like, when you when your when your school is being told by a by a parent and a student that hey, I'm being bullied, and hey, my kid's being bullied, you can't get mad at the kid when the kid finally decides to do something about their bullying, right? Because the school has proven they don't, they have no intention of doing anything. Um, right. So, like, if I, as a parent, if I was a parent, and I found out, if I knew my kid was getting bullied, and my kid finally fought their bully, and, like, beat their ass, um, I wouldn't punish them. I mean, I'd say, like, hey, like, you know, you just going forward, if people are if people are messing with you, you can't resolve it with violence. However, in this instance, considering how relentless it has been, um, that fucker fucker got what he deserved, right? <laughs> fucker got what he deserved. If um, my son was getting bullied and he beat some guy up because he was getting bullied, right? I was like, hey man, at least he didn't shoot at the school. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, you did the right ass. thing. <laughs> the, the other time, that's the right I way to this, take care of it. <laughs> I knew this dude uh, who was who was like low key, uh, a, a total. He was he was kind of a prick to my to my older bro, to my brother, mm -hmm. and uh, he's like the producer, and he's like, <laughs> yeah, and he's yeah. Like, uh, and he's like, um, and every time I'd ask him about it, I'd get told like my brother would t t tell me like, yo. X is being mean to me, right? And I'd ask him about it. I'm like, yo, like, what is, what am I hearing? He'd be like, nah, I'm not doing nothing. I'm like, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we had like this little event at like this like family center. This, this little fucker beat my brother up at a little family center when I wasn't paying attention, right? So, how old were you I tried, at this time? Oh, I was like, I was still in, I was still in elementary school, third grade, oh. third or second grade. Um, but no, like this little dude and his cousin jumped my brother, <laughs> jumped him at a, at this like stupid ass family center, and no one stopped him. 
So I talked to him like the following week and I was like, yo, like you can't do that. Why would you do that? And he told me that, oh, well, he did this, that. It was something stupid. And I was like, bro, that's not, I was like, as a little kid, I was like, dude, that, why would you beat him up over something so trivial? And uh, he's like, are you your part? Yeah. And then he made the comment. He's like, well, if I had my cleats, I would have stomped him. Right. So. So he gets up and goes into because like at this school before like the the third or second graders go back to class they line up against this wall this wall is like dotted with like these pads um, and execute but, them or like dotted no or like dotted <laughs> with these pads so he walks up and I walk up behind him and my boys are with me right because because if you're done you can kind of go up there and just chill so what so if I if I remember this correctly. I kind of take a peek around and I grab this, I grab this little dude's head and smash it against this wall. Right. Oh, Cause damn. I'm, I'm next to the pad. There's the pad for the wall. Cause for whatever reason, kids liked running full speed at the walls at this school and like they couldn't stop themselves. So they hit the wall. Um, so it wasn't padded. So I, so I smashed his head against the wall cause I, cause some came over me and I got really mad. Mm-hmm. Um, Hold cause of down. what he had said. Yeah, I guess so. No, I didn't kill. I, he was fine. But he was he was hurt. He was hurt. He was hurt. And I had someone come to me like, "What happened?" Right? And uh, and he goes like, he grabbed my head and threw it against the wall. I'm like, "No, I didn't." And then whoever was with me that day, I don't remember their names, but they will always be legends to me because she then turns to them and goes, "Did you see him do that?" And they're like, "No." Like, what are you talking about? He didn't do anything. Um. <laughs> So got, principal got dementia. So <laughs> so <laughs> so principal calls me. He's like, "Did you do something?" I was like, "No, I did not. I didn't put my hands on him." And then all the other dudes said the same thing. We didn't put like, "Oh, him? He didn't put Argus didn't put his hands on him." Um, he got. I get. We didn't see exactly what happened, but all we know is he didn't put his hands on him, and he did. And like, he must have slipped and fell or something. You know, there's food on the ground and stuff. So those dudes, I, I was like, did y'all, uh, later I was like, did you guys actually see me do that? And like, oh yeah, we saw the whole thing. We just didn't say nothing. So, so, I, but yeah, the, the, after that, I stopped talking to that dude. And uh, I don't know, he kept, he, kept, he kept being a creep from mm-hmm. then on. I don't know. He had, <laughs> dent, he had a dent in his head for the rest of his life, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I will say, I, I might have honked out a little bit on him. Poor guy. Um... I would never do that to someone nowadays, though. What if they were being really annoying? Argus, about about your former bully. Uh, uh, Argus, about your former bully. What if, what if he stopped one day because of the whole PC movement, and he's like, "Oh wait, I can't keep bullying a black guy." How long do you do you realize I was? Do you realize this was like two thousand nine, bro? Yes. Um, the, the 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 Me Too shit wasn't a thing in two thousand. It was a new day. <laughs> Exactly. Bro, he, is, maybe he's like a new day to like and he was getting on it before everybody else maybe i don't yeah. know bro he wasn't he, really, he, 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 wa- he watched was bet that's that's what it was <laughs> he watched bet <laughs> your brother your brother got bullied a lot like that dude particularly yeah. he'd always pick on uh, him he saw in living color it was bro, like i gotta for, leave that black kid alone bro dead ass so from then on with that kid it was always on site it was always on site i'm not saying like i fought him every time i saw him but anytime i saw an opportunity to fuck him over i would <laughs> so like he lied to teachers because for any reason he thought we were so cool so he'd tell me that he lied about something right mm-hmm. and then um and then and then i'd be like nah he, li- he lying and they're like are you seriously lying again <laughs> so, so he got in trouble a lot because of me no, it was a yeah. He moved away eventually. I don't know for what reason. I'm fairly certain I could find him somewhere on social media. But hopefully he's doing all right now. Sorry, bro, I, I, again. I, sorry, bro. I <laughs> sorry, bro. I, I started and ended a fight before you could even do anything. Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that shit. That shit was funny. No, I, was I, always, never I was always bullied. Bro, bullying I can never is fight so, back. Yeah, bullying is cool so whack. <laughs> it was always milk. I'm building. sure you do. I'm sure they're out there. Why did you upload them? Is my question. What? <laughs> Don't I don't you know. remember the cool videos he has on YouTube? Why did you upload those videos? That was when I was a kid and I thought I could make it as a YouTuber. 
It's just it's just poor Borlon trying to be all happy and fun, and then like these two kids just bullying him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he uploaded it. Uh, oh, I love those videos. But... I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that. Those. They describe them. Well, there's two of them of you singing or something. Hold on, let me go look at them. Let me go look at the thumbnails real quick. <laughs> oh yeah, thumbnail. wait, that got taken down. It did. I reported. I remember that one. That one got <laughs> taken down. Yeah, for co- for copy, YouTube copyright. Yeah, I reported. <laughs> They've been copywriting anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I believe it was Johnny Cash. Oh my God, bro, dude, it's a. So there's bro, one of you I'm... with the bald head, and another one of you with. <laughs> Of of you of you like talking about something and then some kids like at, keeps asking you a question and they poke your face. There's another one of you singing and then there's another one of you doing something I forget. Wait, are there videos? I don't, of you I don't remember video? that at all. <laughs> I don't know. I, I guess all of that all, all those memories are just put in the, like in a vault at this point. Yeah, <laughs> a vault of trauma. Vault, yeah, a lot of people do that. <laughs> yeah. No stress, Bobby. A lot of people do that. <laughs> so, uh, the, but, um, those, those are those are our repressed. Why did you get bullied? Do you think, Borlon? There's never a reason. I was small, skinny, and they they knew I was an easy target, and That's and because sad. of that, I never had any friends, so I could never like develop any social skills. So mm-hmm. I ended up not being able to like hold a conversation or even make sense in a conversation. So I'd get bullied mm-hmm. for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't really develop a personality until after Marine combat training. I had, now you, now I, had, have a I had social and skills and then <laughs> wow, I had social <laughs> skills and then and then COVID happened. No, I never got bullied. I got along oh, yeah. with almost everybody. See, and when you I get along, uh, I would just not talk to them. <laughs> when you get a, when you when you are able to get along with everybody around you, it ma- it makes it so much easier. Because like think think about it, right, your friends were, are cool with everybody, or at least you're cool enough to people the point where people will go to bat for you when needed so like you're cool with like one group and then another group starts picking on you that other group comes to bat for you and they're like oh shit my bad so, actually, i actually do have a story that i just remembered right now when you said that like i remember oh, yeah. some kid, go ahead some kid that i didn't really, i didn't really like him and he didn't really like me so like i would like talk to him a little bit right i wasn't an asshole to him or anything but i was just talking to like, <laughs> like i was, I was just like prick. in the hallway <laughs> talking to my friend gilbert who's a big dude he used to love fighting. <laughs> Your friend oh. Gilbert? Yeah, his name was Gilbert. He used to love fighting. Okay. And uh, I remember this kid like walked up to Fucking me and he says, Gilbert. I'm going to beat the shit out of you after school. And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then <laughs> I'm like, huh? Did, did Gilbert just kind of hulk out? And, it's like, and then Gilbert, <laughs> Gilbert literally grabbed him by the shirt and lifted him up. <laughs> and oh, said my if, God. Said if, and he's like, if you try to fight Johnny later on today, I'm going to fucking kill you. And I was oh like, God damn, God. Gilbert, like, damn, out. Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert <laughs> was- down on this poor guy yeah in, in middle school where we're bullying in middle school where bullying got the worst i would just get like punched in the hallways and then like I'm, like for no reason and then like they just walk, walk oh, yeah. off well, middle school was the worst kids because was like, this one girl for sure. kids, but kind of uh teenagers almost did you just get picked on by women bro oh. no 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 hold on now, let me finish the story uh okay, shit, my bad, there my was bad. this one girl who noticed that I sat alone at lunch? Like I literally had a whole fucking table to myself. Uh-huh. Uh, and so she told her friends to come sit with me, and they would make sure to sit with me at lunch every day. Uh, nice. And one time, one time, uh, this well, like I, I felt out of place because, like, I, I, I still at the time I couldn't, talk, I didn't know how to talk to people, uh-huh. so I just sat at there quietly. Uh, not not that she she did a bad job. She tried uh, to make me feel comfortable mm-hmm. being at school. Just like, there was this one guy who, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was this one guy who who constantly saw an opportunity to bully me, bully me, mm-hmm. and she didn't like that. So she actually hit him one time, oh. and she got pulled. In, we got we both got pulled into the principal's office, saying it was my fault. And and saying that what? I forced her into it, yes. Forced? She Pr- was... That is the most asinine shit I've ever heard. No, she, no, she, 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 she never, she never, 
no, no, god damn it, let me finish. She never, she never said anything. She, she didn't blame on me. She was crying though because she got pulled into the prison's office because they were putting her in trouble. Mm-hmm. Like she didn't do anything against me. She didn't blame me at all. It was him, like the whole time. He, he was saying that that she was forced. Yeah, you are to a hit me, though. or to <laughs> hit, 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 him. Wow. hit him. He's like this guy's a goddamn <laughs> womanizer. He's a skank. He's a Bro, man whore. The... He's like a gigolo. <laughs> it's, it's fucking like really yeah. dumbass attitude of like we tolerate no violence here shit it literally leads to like i'm sorry if i'm sorry but like i, I wish i wish because i've been hit in in school i wish that a that after i got hit and reported something or if i got hit and i had defended myself i wish that a that an, at an administrator because you always go straight to administrators said well why are you putting your hands on him in the first place mm-hmm. like it, admin need to say that like i get it we don't tolerate fighting period and that's a perfect thing to do but the problem is is that your inaction enables it your attitude of like we don't want people fighting on grounds period is why is why bullies feel so secure in targeting people yep. that they that in in the ways that they do Frankly, it's un American. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, that's not time, how the American like, like was what developed. Was, <laughs> uh, she, like, she cried in that office, too, because, like, she, she was in trouble for no reason. Like, this, this principal was retarded as fuck. He was trying to yeah, say it was no. my fault. Like, this, this small, skinny kid was a problem. Are you serious? And, like, it's, I felt so bad because, like, she couldn't hang. She couldn't hang out with me no more, and I ended up sitting back at the table alone. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, let me give a shout out, Stephanie. If you're out there, you're a very sweet girl, and I I hope you have a happy life. You gave him hope. You gave you Stephanie. You gave, you gave him on hope, and, he, and then it got taken made... away. Well, okay. By the evil no, yeah. monster of a, no, of it's, a principal he had. It's when I hear like if if I were if there's like I don't know. Maybe there's a some crazy parent that's listening to this. If your kid's getting bullied at school and you get called in by the principal, say, "Hey, your son was fighting. Why? Oh, like, uh, like this kid Tyler uh, came up and like tried to steal something from him, and when he told him or demanded that he give him something, and when he told him no, Tyler sw- swing swung on him, and then the altercation began, and your son finished it." Um, if you're a parent and your kid says that, or that happens to your kid, you, you your first response should be, well, why ain't Tyler in here apologizing? Mm-hmm. That's always what up. it should be. And that's always what it should be. Um, a lot of kids don't get that, and a lot of kids need it. Because, yeah, sure, I, like, if I was a parent, I don't want my kid fighting. But if my kid is fighting because because another kid started it, I damn well expect them to finish it, at the very least. Because if you if you start the if you start the altercation, you don't get to you don't get to dictate how it goes from there. If you start swinging and somebody swings back, you don't get to start crying. Oh, they hurt me! Why'd you swing on them in the first place? No, dude. If my kid ever came up to me was like talking about how he got bullied, was like that's like the the same day he's gonna go uh, learn martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, bro, you're gonna learn how to kill someone. <laughs> you no, know, it's like I got suspended. Why? I was fighting. Why were you fighting? Well, this kid said, "Mom's a hoe," and this kid says, "Mom's a hoe," and tried to kick me, so I beat his ass. I'm like, good. Uh, yeah, no, like that's yeah, it's. It's I under I I can understand why schools adopt that attitude because they're doing I it don't. in the name of it's fairness. But at the, ultimately, it's a stupid policy because again, it enables the bullying. If anything, it just ignores the problem as well. If you're a young person and you see someone getting bullied, tell like if you if you're a young person and you see somebody getting bullied. Um, say something. Say something. Call the yeah, bully yeah. a pussy. Call say something. <laughs> say, hey, say, like, go up and say, hey, you, hey, bitch, <laughs> that's not cool. Like, so better yet, get all of your friends and then jump him after school. <laughs> yeah, or like, or <laughs> if you don't want to. And the other thing too is, if that, you yeah, have yeah, any, I've seen people get bullied, and what a lot of people don't do is a lot of people. There's a lot of people who will go into it and say, hey, that's not cool, and then just kind of leave. Um. You don't have to. You don't have to engage with the bully if you don't want to, but it's, it goes a long way just to tell that victim that you're there, or at least that you know that that you know you support them and that 
so they know what's happening isn't cool mm -hmm. because that so might give actually... them the courage to say something or hell that might even give them the courage to do something about it themselves it's crazy you say that there was actually this one time in high school there was a girl that was with me at middle school not the same one but like mm -hmm. she took it at, she used as a huh shout out stephanie though <laughs> yeah like you said earlier uh yeah so so this other girl she she was having a conversation about like how bad bullying was in that middle school and she mm -hmm. actually asked me he's like right bullying was bad because i know you were bullied a lot i was like yeah and like I, I, it didn't really, I, it didn't, yeah she knew like you years knew? later it hit, hit me it was like wait she, she she knew and she didn't say shit about it yeah, she did like, like you dumb shit. fat bitch you, you knew the whole fucking time <laughs> you knew the whole time in action is in my opinion not stopping the bullying or not, not being an advocate for the victims of bullying is just as bad as being the bully yourself Bully, being bullied is and the, 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 as fuck, bro. Let me let me also say, bullying does not promote good habits in society because if no. that were true, people that are being weird today, like wearing fucking adult diapers and saying I'm a I'm a widow baby and shit like that, <laughs> that does not that is not the product of not bullying. That is a product of just weirdness. That is something entirely. That's, that's somebody who never actually people. got laid. That's just people. Yeah, no, like, I hear a lot of people out there, a lot of smooth-brained-ass people saying, like, oh, you know, we got to bring back bullying. Bullying is what made society strong. No, compassion is what makes society strong. Society strong, you know what, if we're going to be, what's the building blocks of society, or at least today's society, agriculture and, and modern fucking medicine. How did those come, how did modern medicine come about? Compassion. Like, if yep. we took, if, if we took if, this if, if, I didn't, approach, if I didn't go military... If if I didn't go military, I probably would have ended up really fucking weird. No, you, you like just right, just I don't know. I I probably I probably end up fucking a goat or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! If we took this like dumbass approach to like society of like the whole oh the strong thing right or like harsh conditions make for strong people, which I mean I guess they can. But the thing is, is that compassion and compassion and. And fa like compassion also makes somebody strong. I think I what would those say... people uh, conflate with like, oh, we should be bullying people. I think they conflate just the idea that society is so accepting of everything, right? Mm -hmm. or they see yeah, that yeah. as that's somehow a problem. A weakness. Like, yeah, like they're like, oh, you're kind to people. That's weakness. No, I will say, I will be the first to say, as a as a man in this modern day, a young man, no less, who does not consume Andrew Tate. Uh, a big sign of of of, uh, of strength for me as a man is compassion and kindness towards strangers. Like just like if you're a man being kind to people, that's like people are not going to think you're strong because you're walking through the hall and you're mm -hmm. like shoving shoving people down, or you call women hoes and bitches in private, or I'm like you say that to their face. No whores, skanks, scallywags, <laughs> sluts. Nobody, yeah. it, no, nobody. <laughs> most people do not think that's strength. And if you do think, that's I mean, strength, if you, you use the issues. term scallywag, I'll think you're pretty funny and cool. <laughs> if you, <it's, laughs> but no, nah, like being like, uh, I, look I at these scallywags. You know, a person who I think has a really good definition of um of masculinity is John Bernthal. Uh, I th is that, yeah, yeah, that's his name. Punisher? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you can you uh you can see it on his. Uh, he did a he did an interview on um, uh, with uh, the a Hot Ones interview, but it was really telling. Uh, he thinks masculinity is grounded in like in in compassion and kindness towards others. Mm -hmm. So like he's yeah, got a did. really good. He's got a definition of masculinity that I really agree to, with. To finish, and my we need point more people like that about like these guys thinking that kindness is like somehow a weakness. I think the I think what they believe is that just by accept being accepting of people is somehow agreeing that it's it's like a cool thing or like it's like normal and stuff. You can still find things weird as shit, and honestly, probably also believe that it's just like wrong, <laughs> right? But you can still be kind mm -hmm. to someone that you disagree with, where like you think that you know. I think if you're like a if you're like a brony or something, right? I think that's weird as shit. Yeah, I, sometimes I, it's not okay gonna be mean to, to bronies. Stay. Sometimes it's oh, guys. Sometimes <laughs> it's okay just to say it is what it is. Yeah. Sometimes it's well, okay I, just I'm, to say I'm, I'm, I'm mean to. 
I mean to bronies for a different reason. One of my friends was a brony. He was the nicest guy ever. Well, but, it's um, like it's like it's like furries, it right? It's like <laughs> it's like furries, right? I don't, I'm not gonna try to understand why people are furries because I'm not a furry myself, right? But I don't. But ultimately, I don't give a fuck if you're a furry or not. Yeah. That like, it's the it's the whole thing with like uh, back in the day. If what I this might be a stupid parallel to draw, but for me, what how, the way we talk about furries in, on the internet these days is similar to how people used to talk about gamers before gaming became like this crazy big thing that everyone accepts as like a, a reality, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's like back in the day, like you could say like, "Oh, I play video games." Someone would be like, "Oh, you fucking nerd!" Like nowadays, someone's like, "You play video games?" Like, "Oh, me too." What do you play? <laughs> um. Like just leave, just leave fuckers alone. Just leave people alone. And they're not even to, good at it. You don't have to like it. No one's saying you have to like it. But mm-hmm. again, sometimes it's okay just to say it is what it is. Yeah. It's just like yeah, that's fucking weird. <laughs> like, like or like yeah, that's that's the uh, I don't think that's right, right? Like like uh, when guys like will say like oh I don't like uh, girls that do OnlyFans, right? It's not. Yeah. It's not that they're like going out of their way to then assault sooner or later they're gonna have to accept fans. it. They're not. They're not going out of their way to assault women that do OnlyFans. They're just like to them. They're like, no, that's that's morally wrong. I don't agree with it. It doesn't mean it, that they're they're not gonna be kind to these people. I get it. Sometimes, and if they are, some, if they are unkind to these people, then they're assholes. Sometimes there's just things that you don't. Sometimes there's just things that people do that it's not worth trying to understand it because you're gonna you're gonna find yourself being more annoyed trying to understand it than just accepting it it that's how it is i think uh people should just separate their opinions from how they treat other people mm-hmm, for sure <laughs> you people can have all these evil pricks. sorts of opinions but uh if you're if you're being a dickhead at the end of the day all you're doing is being a dickhead someone said Doesn't someone there's a guy i follow this guy I follow, uh, he's like this like smaller rapper. He's like, just because you're a free thinker doesn't mean you gotta be a dickhead. Mm-hmm. So I, yeah, and it's kind of that's kind of a similar thing. I don't know, guys, just be kind, just be nice to people, just be kind to people. You yeah. don't know their story, they don't know your story, and if you're if you're not kind to people, um, you're a dick. <laughs> and continue with this idea of kindness. We're all gonna give Orlan a cool makeover. We're going to kill him with what? kindness. We're gonna, We're gonna kill Borlan him with kindness. The coolest boy I, 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 this, 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 this bullet says this bullet says kind says kindness, so we're gonna kill you with it. <laughs> <laughs> Open your mouth! Open your mouth! Open your mouth! <laughs> no! <laughs> you want me! <laughs> Oh, You're way man. too nice. Oh man, he's shitting. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Who's shooting? He's shitting. Oh he's no. Shitting from my from our uh, combined strength on his on his waist and his stomach. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, dude. We're just po- putting our knees on his stomach, <laughs> trying to hold him down. <laughs> bro, you should you should have seen it. Um, you should have seen it. Right, no, nah, you shouldn't have seen it. Um, dude, a couple nights ago, there was some asshole just driving up and down like my street, uh, but like uh, popping off his exhaust. <laughs> but when he had first done it, I hadn't seen it. I'd only heard it, right? So I thought I was like, me and my brother were both because we share a room. Mm-hmm. We're both in, laying in our beds, beds, two separate beds. Yeah, so I was so, I was the, no, <laughs> yes, opposite, yes, we get it. You have to cuddle every night. No, God. opposite sides of the room. And we hear and we hear this guy's fucking uh, exhaust go like pop, 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 pop. Right? Mm-hmm. It sounds like it sounds like a gun is shooting. Right? Yeah. But right outside our house. And the first, and we gotta sit there and silence for a second. And then my brother goes. Did someone just get? Did someone just get gunned down? And I was like, maybe. <laughs> and the, bro, dude, this guy went up and down the block just blasting that exhaust off for like two hours. I fucking went shoot we him. Watch, you know how you said that we should watch a South Park episode? Go watch the South Park episode where there's a bunch of guys in the Harleys. The Harleys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what would you call so so what? If I, so so boys, what if I have a? A Harley. Then you're bike curious. <laughs> you're, <laughs> you're, you're a fag. No, you can't say that. Yeah, you God can. damn it. I, I just like we to have... keep it in. Oh, <laughs> <Are> really? 
<laughs> really? After I don't think happened? it's a bad. I don't think it's a, a terrible word. I think it's funny. <laughs> We're referencing something else. Yeah. Right, man. <laughs> I just love the part when they're like they're like telling the kids that that they can't say they can't say fag. <laughs> And they're like, oh, they think we're talking about gay fags. <laughs> like, like, no, no, we're talking about. <laughs> no, we're talking about bikers. <laughs> no, I will say that the... <laughs> they're like, you can't say that. Like, say what? They're like, like you can't say that that word. And what? Like... Fag? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I feel really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no, no, no. You can be gay, but you, <laughs> but you, but you you're not, you, you don't have to be a faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh yeah. man! You know, stop being one. I say we should all YouTube, just I guess. use whatever words we want. Well, go ahead, Marlon. <laughs> no, no, just well, kidding. Just like, kidding. You know, just la- kidding. You know what I was about to say? Last time we let <laughs> yeah, out of my whatever system. words they want, all the Jews disappeared. <laughs> so I'm not really sure that we can we can afford we to do that. About the Nazis didn't let any free speech happen. Not even freedom of thought. <laughs> no, but it's, it's, that, it's that very. They couldn't thing. have OnlyFans either. Like, <laughs> like I said though, last time we let someone say whatever they wanted, all the Jews disappeared. <laughs> so I don't know if I can make that joke on That's this platform. True. A lot of them did. Ugh. A lot of Jewish Ugh. people disappeared. But not because people said what they wanted, because people weren't allowed to say what they wanted. Because they get beat up <laughs> by all the fucking Nazis. I suppose that's true. Yeah. It's like um, I, like a huge thing. I for, like sometimes police, that's all they did. So, yeah, sometimes I forget that there were a lot of people that didn't agree with uh, <laughs> with what with what uh, Germany was doing. There's also a lot of people equally so. There are also a lot of people that didn't know that didn't know that did not know what they were doing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, too. if you think about it, like if the Nazis were like around like during the internet, I don't think they would uh get as much traction. <laughs> 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 you know, because because everybody that didn't give a shit, like right, like like uh, like me, right? I don't give a fuck. Uh, <laughs> but if I if I saw like what Hitler was saying on Twitter, i be like, what the fuck? <laughs> this guy's insane. I'm not my guy. sure. <laughs> I'm not voting for this fucking See, guy. I don't I, I don't know what would have. Well, that's the thing. Hitler wasn't wasn't voted in as chancellor. Well, no, I mean, he was he was. He was voted in as chancellor, but then he kind of went to like the the president or king of Germany. I forget what the fuck he was. He's like, "Hey, I'm in control now." He's like, "You and what army?" And then Hitler's like, "This army, this cool army." And it's like and he shows like <laughs> <laughs> and he shows like oh he shows like four Wehrmacht divisions. It's like um, mm-hmm. this army behind me. He pulls out like, like a huge box full of like army soldiers and toys and stuff. And he's like, "Who's going to do you?" <laughs> He puts his hands up. He's like, "Whoa, we don't gotta get, we don't gotta get violent here, y'all. We don't gotta get violent." Yeah, you might be right about that. The, the The way the Nazis came into power is kind of crazy because it's almost like everybody was kind of just going along with it because they either didn't care or because they just didn't know fully what what the fuck was going on. You know, a bunch I'm, of shit. A bunch of shit happened. I've always pondered it, and I've I've I, like. I, as someone who is who who has like uh, studied history a lot in my life, um, I the best conclusion I've come to for why people went along with it is that Germans at the time, just because like we all know what happened after World War One, right? Germany's economy collapses because they're paying reparation, they're paying like this these crazy taxes, yeah, albeit too. the taxes are fair. Um, is like I, right. They're like they're taxes? paying these crazy taxes back to these countries because of all the damage that. Germany caused even though like even though Serbia is the one that started this war in the first place um their, their economy collapses and, the, and people just suffer for like 20 years right and then you've got this guy that comes along and who's like who's like guys communism is disgusting capitalism has failed us um but let's do fascism that'll totally be better so like for my <laughs> my best understanding as to why people followed Hitler is because they had, is because he had promised crazy amounts of prosperity and people were just looking for for some hope that right that their lives could be somewhat normal again or their or Germany could be somewhat like what it was before before the great uh, the great war and it kind of was like that like Hitler fixed a lot of things that was going on 
reform repair the economy hell hitler's the one who made the highway system that exists in germany these days if i remember correctly um I'm not giving credit to the asshole because I hate him. You know uh, what? Maybe Hitler wasn't such a bad no! guy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't say that. Argus, is that what you're trying to tell me? No, I'm not. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, that. that is the best conclusion I've come to. Why have been a little too so hard start, on Hitler. <laughs> so stop. Stop. No, we, have, we haven't been hard enough. We haven't been hard enough. Um, that's my best reason uh, as to why as to why people supported him so heavily. Though, yeah, yeah it it does blow my mind though that like especially with like all like the um like the brainwashing they did on the on the younger kid gen, younger generation. Yeah, shit, totally. It blows my fucking mind. No, one hundred percent. It's it, yeah, no, it's totally. It's it's crazy how much. Um, There's like this book. Uh, I forget what it. I forget what it was called. I just heard about it, but it's like this book. I guess it's about a like a garbage man. Mm-hmm. Who like starts off like during the war, like just starts off like cleaning up the roads and stuff. Yeah, and then he starts getting sent out further and further. He starts cleaning, and it eventually ends up with him like cleaning out like dead bodies and shit. Mm-hmm. And he's like asking himself, like, what the fuck happened? <laughs> like, yeah, he's exactly. Like, what the? How did they get to this? I'm the... Cleaning up dead Jews in the street. <laughs> God. What they were, what they 100, what they were doing was uh, was totally on a need to know basis. Only people that needed to know knew. Crazy, um, dude. and then you wonder the, how many pedophile cults were around in the Nazi days. Oh my god! And it, it also though also makes me wonder though how many people knew but just feigned ignorance because that's um, some Cosby shit, dude. That's like some Cos- straight up Cosby shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I can guarantee a lot of a lot of German citizenry. Because the thing is, is that the Germans in a lot of places made no efforts to hide these camps. Literally, no effort. They didn't. They didn't bother hiding them. Sometimes they just put them like ten miles away from town, mm-hmm. or or they put them a couple like li- within driving distance of town. Or and and then and then distance. family, the German families would be like, "Hey, kid, do you want to go to the zoo?" Yeah, and then they went straight to the oh concentration. My God. Oh my God! I've never seen no animal like this. This is like, uh, but, but like, <laughs> that's fucking well, what, what, what does the Jew say? Help. <laughs> Help. God damn. Poor so Jews, but no, def, like, it's, uh, like, I'll, and I've heard, like, uh, from testimonies from American soldiers that found some camps when they were going through Germany. Um, they asked locals, like, how the fuck didn't you know that this was happening? Um, Especially like because a lot of Jewish dudes served like fought the Nazis on for the American. A lot of Jewish dudes did. Though what I love is that a lot of them, when asked like why did you why would you go over to Europe, a place that was at the time very not friendly to people like you. He's like because I just wanted. He's and it's all the same. I wanted just I just wanted the Germans to know that they're that they're getting their ass whooped by a Jew. All right. It was always, it's a, but yeah, like a lot of them would ask, like, how the fuck didn't you know this was happening? And they'd be like, we just didn't know. When did you guys find it's, out about, like, Hitler and stuff? When I found, oh, when I was in, like, uh, sixth or fifth grade. Wow. <laughs> I, I did a lot, I read a lot of history books back then. So I had known about World War II for a very long time. Uh, I mean, I guess I knew about Turned. World War II since I was, like, a little kid, but I didn't really know about the, uh, the atrocities that happened. I Until didn't know I about like them in, in detail. School. No, I didn't know about them in detail. Um, I had known the Holocaust was a thing. I didn't know the intricate details until I got into high school and I read um, Ellie V. Stell's oh. book. I forget his name. I so Argus, called. It's called Night. Argus, are you saying you knew about the Holocaust? I knew of it. I knew the Holocaust was a thing that was very. Why bad. didn't you stop it? I didn't. <laughs> Dude, I just. <laughs> Didn't care. It's kind of, um, kind of fucked up, bro. Just, that you just let just, it keep going. <laughs> He's like, I'm Muslim. I, you see, if I was there, guys, if I was there, I would have put a stop to it. Send me back in time. I'm not saying I was there, but if I was there, a, a lot of things would have been different. Yeah. Send me, yeah. If I was there, that shit would have got a whole lot different. Let you me need tell to beat you. Beat up uh, Hitler. Let's send Chief Keith back in time and try and see him Chief solo Keith. World War II. <laughs> I'm a, let's send Chief Keith back in time. And tell him the Germans said Chief Keef ain't no hitter and see what he does. I don't even know, Chief, I don't even know who Chief Keef is. He's like, like a Native American. Or you something. Never, who is this never, man? Have you never seen like the infamous the infamous Chief Keef has arrived in Afghanistan? 
No. The fuck? The fuck? <laughs> oh, bro, this shit's so funny. One sec. It sounds like a Native American almost, like a, like an old chief. Yeah, he is a <laughs> chief. Like, it's like the lowest quality fucking picture I've ever seen. Who's that rapper TikTok that like, fell off the stage and made a funny noise? Who's that <laughs> <guy>? Travis Scott <laughs> fell off on auto tune. Yeah. <laughs> That video yeah, he's funny. like, yeah. Travis Scott fell off stage <laughs> in Auto Town. Is it? All, is that also the same dude with like all like the fire and flames going up behind him, and he's like holding up the <laughs> microphone, and his mouth yes. looks like no. That's the guy that is currently awesome. dating Kylie Kardashian. He looks like he looks like Pac Man. No, like that's true. It's no, like. That's true. <laughs> It's not no, even just tra- like no the, eyes, the, it's just a mouth. No, the, the picture you're describing like, is yes, a picture of Travis Scott raging on one of his concerts. <laughs> that shit is fucking hilarious. Looking. <laughs> this is the worst picture. <laughs> they can't even see it. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right about that though. It is. Um... Yeah, Travis Scott is, has very funny pictures. That's all I know yeah. about him. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you know about Travis very, Scott. Yeah. Very, he's a very funny looking man. He's got a huge Good mouth. Time, huh? There's like photoshops for like to make his, his mouth a little bit bigger and it looks, still looks real. <laughs> 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 no, Travis Scott is. Uh, I've never seen any interviews with him, but he seems like he might be a he might be a funny dude. I don't know. Is he insane? He's like Bill Cosby. I don't, that I don't know. Bill Cosby is he? He's just a creep, dude. I was like, he's uh, a rapist. I was like yes, bored one is. day, and I was just like looking up all mm-hmm. these conspiracies, right? And there's like a conspiracy that there's a video of Hillary Clinton, <laughs> like torturing a kid and then eating its its face, like its pineal gland out of its face. Jesus, and probably not true. Ah. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not. It's absolutely not true. There's, there's like zero evidence about it. But it just, it's just fucking crazy. It's like the craziest story, like in, in such vivid detail of like a and, fake video about. And you know what's the craziest child. thing? You know what's the craziest <laughs> thing too, though, what? is that if you told that to the wrong person, they'd be like, "Yeah, I saw it too." <laughs> they would. Yeah. They'd be, without actually having seen seen it, they'd be like, or like having heard about it, they'd be like, "Yeah, I heard too." Like, um, or they'd be like, yeah, it's true. Like someone did like this really funny exper- quote unquote experiment where they went around and asked people, asked people, um, have you heard about what's happening in Zamunda? Right. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, man. The Biden administration is not doing a damn thing about it. <laughs> I think people just like to not look like, like, like idiots in public people yeah people <laughs> like to look people i initially some people were like yeah, like ho, ho, dumb conservatives um as a proponent of shitting on conservatives mm-hmm. i will say i think it just i think the reason people responded that way is because people just don't like to appear to be out of the loop yeah people want to set up the facade that they know what's going on at all times so yeah i think that's why they said it it's still funny no less but anyways, like this this uh, conspiracy thing, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I cut you off. It like went as deep as like like them like trying to say that like these police officers killed themselves over this video. Oh, <laughs> which was it, it was true, it, but it wasn't over this video. It was like three police officers that like get suicided right over like some weird thing, like like some like PTSD they had, right? But they tried to and say cops- that it was because of this video. <laughs> <laughs> but dude he's like that like the description of that video like is disagree. so crazy dude like it's like it's a it's almost like i i almost want to believe it because it's so detailed it's, it's like it's what's just the shit it's yeah, just it's like, who fucking who knew how to describe this who so like perfectly? who comes up with stuff it's um <laughs> right now um fox news is under a lot of shit because um oh surprise what they had said about the 2020 presidential election was bullshit right what did they say they had said it was all they said it was like it was stolen it, w- it was fake and all that right and, and then they the at, like Biden. after yeah they had said like oh it's uh it's it was all it, like joe biden cheated all this other like crazy like bad shit insane stuff right but um they were like pushing this shit to all their viewers so what's really funny though is that it, it's been revealed lately that none of them actually believed half the shit that they were saying I and think um, most people believe what they're saying on TV. True, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a lot of people believe what the Fox what Fox says, though, right? So I don't um, believe me either. Yeah, <laughs> I'm. I'm. I just have so much self doubt. 
about Donald Trump. Um, <laughs> but um, but what, the bit, the main thing is that <laughs> they had apparently gotten like this uh this email from somebody that was saying like oh well, you know I've got all this crazy evidence that's gonna bolt like that's gonna. Uh, it's gonna blow, it's gonna the blow this whole open. thing. Yeah, exactly. Like I know some. I have knew all this information is gonna blow this whole thing wide open, right? <laughs> so somebody managed to leak the actual email, right? Uh-huh. The email that had been sent to this woman who went on Fox. So she she didn't even, she hadn't even read the whole email to the public. She only read the parts that she liked. This person in that was saying like, "I die." It was like was saying like. Oh, I died when I was like 16, and ever since then I've been a ghost in the wind. But I know I'm still here. Blah, blah, blah. Like talking about how they're a ghost, how they can only be heard mm-hmm. in the wind and shit. Like just real, some dude? batshit crazy stuff. <laughs> what if it was true? What if he it was could? a ghost? At the age of 13, <laughs> like, I was whoa. born without. We would never a know. Face. What if Borlon's a ghost? We would never know, dude. <laughs> yeah, we'd never know. He's a ghost. Of, he's a ghost in the wind. <laughs> Yeah, this entire time I've actually been in a shack. I've actually just been dead. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The yeah. body's just the voice. You don't. You don't recognize the body's in the water, dude. He died next to a telephone. I'm. Only, I only. I, my spirit only roams the earth for Saturdays, uh, even in the evening at six for a fucking podcast. Yeah. He, just, he does. He just ceases to exist on Monday. Yep. Well, if you're not a good. And then other than that, I'm group. playing Star Citizen. <laughs> I'm haunting Star Citizen, yeah. Prove that you're not a ghost, Marlon. Yeah, show us your proof. Um, show us your, uh, your You're ghost. right, I can't prove it. In fact, I'm gonna ectoplasm all over your face, bitch. Yeah, like, ectoplasm show, on me, bro. Show, show me a video of you with the words, I'm real, on one on one ass cheek, and then on the other <laughs> ass cheek. Here, I can prove I'm a ghost. I'm gonna say the <laughs> N-word, and nobody can beat my ass for it. <laughs> prove, prove to us that it doesn't clap. And then we'll believe you. That it doesn't clap. He has like huge, yeah. big, beautiful butt cheeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you die, you get a thick ass. Exactly. You can't possibly have a thick ass if you're alive. So does that mean all the all every like woman with like a big butt is actually dead? Um, that's fucking scary. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna, that's fu- that's gonna fuck with him. <sighs> I got a question for you, Argus. I asked this earlier. Shoot. We were talking about Colts, right? Oh, Me and yeah, Colts. Yeah, man, Colts. Love them. And I asked Actually, Warlon, you know. what what would you do if a new yeah, cult man. sprung forth on in your yeah, neighborhood, man. right? Or people dress like up as Christianity? Bees. No, they dress up they oh. dress up like bees, right? They dress up like bees. Uh-huh. And they go around stabbing dogs and cats to death. <laughs> oh no! Um, well, that I'm would still, be I'm bad. Even, I'm not even gonna hold you. If it was in my neighborhood, that mm-hmm. shit wouldn't be a problem at all. Why you know, I put a stop to it. <laughs> oh, you put a stop to it. <laughs> what if they knock yeah, on your door? But... I'd, I'd put a stop to it. You know, like uh, if they knock, what if they knock on your door and they're like, "Hey, uh, we're part of the B cult." Around here, or the 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 B the B uh, reformists, we believe that dogs and cats are are killing our ecosystem. <laughs> Would you like more to than join a, our more than uh, us humans, our society? Um, I'd probably say no, thanks. Well, we have biscuits, gravy. Um, we biscuits also got brownies and gravy. that taste delicious. Miss Susan makes no, all the brownies. No? Man, these like, these people actually sound nice. <laughs> I mean, right, minus right, them well, being uh, in like. How about this? How about this? If you see a dog, just give us a call. We'll show up. We'll kill it. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, show totally, up. Totally, we'll totally. kill and it. If you're concerned That's about the waste, that's guaranteed. If you're concerned about the waste, we 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 give it to Marianne to turns local, it to our Marianne local Chinese turns it restaurant. Into the, give all the dead oh dogs. Oh my Chinese god! Restaurant. I'm about to say Marianne. Marianne turns it into you know the the gravy for our uh, our little banquets on the on the weekends. Mm-hmm. Oh, and and also we have uh, the hottest <laughs> woman in town, and she has sex with everybody that comes to joins. <laughs> oh, well, you know, that's good for y'all, but. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll what? think on it. Y'all are having color with the, color having color of the queen bee. Ma- Three marital sex? Fuck no. But only one bee has, sleep, has sex with the queen bee for reproduction. I thought it was multiple bees. And then, and then, then mean, we no, kill like, them because that's how it works. 
<laughs> Wait, yeah, who does she st- the queen bee? <laughs> like only one bee does because oh. like the because the queen bee lays like uh, like hundreds of eggs. I thought a bunch maybe of even thousands. Fucking, I thought a, no, I thought only, only one. one one queen bee and then everybody pegs it. Everybody no, only only chance. no only they only get all one, that pollen. No, only one only one uh, inseminates the queen. What about like? And then he know, dies. <laughs> what about because... what about like? fucking uh in, I, being in there and shit for, quite frankly i love that i love that like in the in the insect kingdom they just come so hard they die <laughs> it's horrifying i think it's super funny <laughs> well what if that happened to you what if that happened what if like, that happened to your wife your new wife she's been a virgin for her whole life you guys get married you guys are about to consummate and i'd be distraught but she, at the same time awesome. i'd also be like I'd also be like, God damn, I didn't know I was that good. <laughs> My confidence would go through the roof, bro. And then you go to jail for 15 years for murder. Oh. Because you're but it wasn't murder. Uh-huh. It wasn't intentional. Yeah, but you're a Oh, wait, I see. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Sorry, bud. You have a female judge, and she's like, so you, the, the the sex was so good that she died from orgasming? They're like, they're like, are innocent and, and in my apartment now. Wounds. In her inner chest. Innocent in, in my apartment now. We need have it. We need we need some real tangible evidence. <laughs> they like show pictures of your wife with like stab wounds in her chest. And like that wasn't there when she died. <laughs> They're like, no, oh, God, yeah, it will. We did some evidence testing and uh she's been stabbed, obviously. Testing. Yeah. And you're like, like and, you know, we found this glove. <laughs> yeah, it's glove. It's got it's like a it's baby got glove. semen in it and it's yours. <laughs> it's uh, it's so like a tiny we... baby glove. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Does he fit your fucking thumb <laughs> Man like you know We think this was you I was like nope I didn't do that They're like yep you did uh, <laughs> Bye bitch <laughs> What would be the funniest away. like thing to like uh, To like uh, Falsify evidence how, how would you falsify evidence about, against somebody But in a funny like way the worst, Like the worst way or like the best The funniest way Oh, funniest, the funniest way? evidence to falsify. Oh shit! Um, the funniest evidence to falsify. I don't know. Maybe it's like um, it's like we found we found a sticker at this at the crime scene, right? It's got um, and you, almost a train and you, engine, and you seem to have the same exact sticker on um. You seem to have the same exact sticker on your car, and then I just gaslight like the jury into into like they're like but like it's it, they're two different stickers and they just gaslight the jury into believing that they're they're the same sticker <laughs> i'd be like if you can see here we actually have uh a bunch of red lipstick like a red lipstick kiss on the windowsill <laughs> just outside the woman's home <laughs> mm-hmm. now we've done some 3d analyzing. Cops being weird <laughs> we've done some 3d analyzing and it matches <laughs> The defendant's lips perfectly, <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then exactly. they bring out like a window pane and have the have the defendant kiss it with the red lipstick on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, as you can tell, uh, this man's a really great kisser. Yeah, this guy's got big, beautiful, puckered kiss lips, but he's also. In fact, to demonstrate, I will now kiss him, <laughs> and he will he will then immediately stab me several times. Can the, can I ask the, the the judge to please kiss the defendant to judge for themselves whether or not it's the same lips that kiss this window? You are the judge for a reason. <laughs> the, the judge is like, that's not what judges do. He's like, no, I think it is. Go ahead and kiss the defendant. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I had no law. Please kiss the defendant, and I'm going to record and put it on YouTube as well. So, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead. Yeah. What would you do if a cop kissed well, you? Well, the defendant, please <laughs> kiss each of the jury. What would you do if, the, if a cop kissed you while searching you? Like he's like, Obviously, right, anything, just, anything, I, for... anything I say can and will be held against me. Fuck. Yeah, and then and then he's like, "All right, you got any sharp objects or anything I have to be careful of?" He kisses you on the on the cheek right there, <laughs> like Bob <laughs> says it right after he says that. <laughs> What'd you do? This massive dong. He kisses you on the cheek, on like the butt cheek. I mean, oh, he's like, <laughs> when he's down there, right? When he's feeling up your legs. 
<laughs> or how about he kisses like like the your back like on your spine? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> How'd that work? Because he's like he's like down there reaching down. He kisses on he kisses you on the on your back. <laughs> yeah, dude. He just he just really wants you, bro. You know. What if it was a beautiful man, though? My wife hasn't touched me in days. What if it was Ryan Reynolds that searched you? Oh, there's nothing <laughs> wrong there. <laughs> Kissed you. Oh, Ryan there's absolutely Reynolds. nothing there's wrong with this. It's yeah, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, wrong. yeah, absolutely nothing wrong, dude. Like, Ryan Reynolds, why are you a cop? Why are you kissing me? Uh, I needed to kiss you. Oh, okay. Um, it's more like Ryan Reynolds. Why aren't you kissing me? Ryan Reynolds, <laughs> holy shit! I think I got something evil and sharp in my pants. Bro. In in my in my mouth. I need you to get it out with your mouth. <laughs> Why'd you sound like the Joker just now? <laughs> Sound like the I don't know. I didn't even. I didn't even think I did. I didn't even think I did. <laughs> Sound like the Joker. <laughs> I. I don't know. I. I didn't think I did. Who would be your ideal Joker? It's like, who would play him? I think it's pretty obvious. Who? Uh, William Defoe. Oh, that would be great. That's a perfect yes, answer. but he doesn't want to do it because he hates all the uh, talk. He, he doesn't want to give in to the uh, stereotype that everyone thinks he would make a perfect psychotic character. He would though. He, he, he got, would, he's got but he he doesn't he doesn't want to do it because he he hates that stereotype. He, like he doesn't want that reputation. I think I would have Adam Sandler. Why <laughs> Adam Sandler? <laughs> I don't know. I think he would be funny. Or all right, all right, all right, Batman, you win. <laughs> <laughs> or who else would be a good Joker? Hmm. I don't know. You think of one? Yeah, uh, who would make a good Joker? Yeah. Um. Lizzo. Why would why Lizzo? Because Lizzo. Lizzo's like the least evil person. Lizard ever. Lizzo. <laughs> well, Lizzo is a joke. What? She look like a lizard. Man, leave fat oh, people it's... alone, bro. Come on. <laughs> she's fat. Yeah, uh, she's I, have a, a, I have a question for you. She's a big woman. Yes. Which, which would you rather have for society? Drag queen influence or Lizzo's influence? Why not both? The issue with no, it. no, you only got one. Neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you? Okay, define the first. Define drag queen influence, and then define Lizzo influence. Yeah, what the fuck? What are they influencing? Yeah, I should. Need, <laughs> I should need to know what exactly those are. So define the one. Ways. One. One is is one is uh not being afraid of showing who you really feel like, and the other okay. is is uh. Obese. Being okay uh, with your body. Uh, <laughs> the other is obese. When you interrupt me and I lose my train of thought. <laughs> like y'all, like everybody dies. Huh? <laughs> okay, just go. Just fucking go. This is why I said like several times I was wrong. <laughs> What's the Lizzo influence if you can remember? The Lizzo influence is just like just being fat. Like no 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 healthy no healthy diet, no 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 healthy way of life. Just being fat. That's it. Mm -hmm. I I think I I well, I hear what you're saying. I think your mom but 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 drag uh, queens is is it's like it's like a little bit more sexualized to this day. Well, I oh, okay. So the whole Lizzo influence, if that is the if that is believed to be. Oh, there's no health. I don't think that's at all what Lizzo's trying to push at all. Um, and what is it? Body positivity, being okay with one's body. Yeah, sure. So, so are drag, so are, so are drag queens. Yeah. So yeah, they but can. But one, one both. is more health, one, one is more healthy than the other. One, the, one is not in opposition to the other. They're both. They both exist in the exact same like space, and I they. St and I they still don't understand what they're. In what are they influencing? Yeah. Well, exactly. Well, influencing. I just told you. They, I just told you. So their their whole their whole thing is is being you know having a, their own side of themselves, I guess, right? Okay, so just like being yeah, but to who then? 
<laughs> but like Lizzo, but like the Lizzo influence doesn't mean that doesn't mean lack of hell. Lizzo's not pushing for that. But also, who are they? Who are they trying to influence? I don't. I don't think. I don't think everybody. Drag, I don't think drag queens nor nor big people or Lizzo have this like altruistic view to change the world. I mean, Lizzo just performs and makes music. Because I think drag maybe. queens just do. You drag queens just perform or live as drag queens. Yeah. And yeah. Neither have like these Sometimes grandiose ideas me. to change the world. <laughs> so I guess. So I guess in this case, um. Yeah, that's a dumb question. <laughs> Neither. I don't want so, to so, so basically, you made up your own bullshit to avoid the question. Okay, well. you, know what, you, know what, you are calling me out. Okay, uh, if I had to, if I had to say, um, I guess the drag queen one, but mostly because you're mostly because you, what you said is a is a blatant misrepresentation of what Lizzo actually tries to do. So yeah, Lizzo I guess is. <laughs> Lizzo is Lizzo is a bigger woman, but she's a musician, and she gets a shitload of hate literally just because she exists as a fat person. She's like but the also Korean, because like the Korean plus size models. No, no, she's she's a she is a big girl by every sense of the word. She's um, obese. Sure, I like yeah, big girls, word. but I I think not a, word that's a like big a girl who doesn't end up breathing heavily <laughs> yeah, after yeah, walking. That's a medical but, condition. Um, <laughs> but like, but Liz, but like Lizzo, Liz, like, uh, but people just hate Lizzo because she ha because she had the gall to exist as a fat person. This bitch is fat and famous. Literally, literally <laughs> the only exactly, literally the only. It's like a, it's like how Adam Calhoun got mad at Lil Nas X because Lil Nas X is black, gay, and more famous than him. Um, if you hadn't, if you don't know who Adam Calhoun is, it's just a fucking joke. Uh, don't even bother. All right, next here. question. Sure. Who, 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 who do you hate more? R. Kelly or Jojo Siwa? Uh, what R. did Jojo Kelly. Siwa do? She, she straight up, she said that, that the Migos were nobodies and that she says, she claims that she's all for like, being positive having a positive outlook and and being active but then mm -hmm. she'll like put people down if she doesn't know them like she will just actively put them down so r kelly or so wait would i rather have r r r kelly or jojo siwa yeah one of them dies. or 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 or, <laughs> or, or hi yeah all right would you rather have a weird pedophile or a hypocrite who treats everyone like shit a hypocrite that treats everyone like shit. What? This is such a no-brainer. Yeah, Do you know who R. Kelly is? Question. R. Kelly yes. is like a R. sex Kelly cult. Is? What are you talking about, dude? <laughs> he all right. children no. piss on him. What are yes. you talking all right. about? No. He's a kid fucker. No, you so <laughs> got... Jesus fucking Christ. You gave the right answer. God damn. <laughs> He's a troll. Ah! Just started fucking care. yelling. Yeah, no, I don't you want to start yelling? You want to yell at the podcast? Worst no, question I love, ever. I love, I love how he's in it. He's in this like security box right now, just yelling <laughs> by himself. <laughs> about R. Kelly versus yeah, no, JoJo. Yeah, scene. no, yeah, no. Of course, of course, I take the hypocrite who's a bitch over over the literal chomo. Why is, yeah, why is JoJo yeah. So bad? What does she do? I guess she's a hypocrite and she's a dick. Yeah, she is. What? Like 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 <laughs> like he was asked to co-host the the Nick uh, the T Nick Choice Awards with the Migos, uh -huh. and she she outright claimed I don't want to do it with them because they're nobodies. The Migos, I mean, I, guys, we have to remember the Migos. They made culture too. <laughs> they made culture yeah. too, bro. Yeah, yeah, she does either. that with a lot of people. I know JoJo uh, Siwa. I don't know the Migos, so she's got a point. The three Fuck the Migos. Migos, more the three amigos. She says they're nobodies. I mean, maybe not in her circle, or maybe not in her space of like the media. But Man. they're people. They are people. They yeah. Literally, one of them is married to Cardi B, and their and their collective net worth is in like the. Is in like the hundreds of millions, and their individual net worth are like in the tens of millions. Didn't Cardi B do yeah. that super weird song? They Why? they heard yeah. Yeah. Or what that's p word <laughs> as as Ben Shapiro called it. That's that song is like almost like Peaches fucking. That song that song is super funny to me. <laughs> I love how I love yeah. how mad it so, was like. A, uh, sorry, go ahead. It makes me that song is. The, the Migos actually heard what she said, and they were like, "All right, yeah, we're a little disappointed." And if she feels that way, we don't want to do it at all. She's kind of a bitch. Yeah, Remember that's that, mean. That what she said was totally mean. Peaches? 
<laughs> Sucking all my titties like I know you want to. You know that song <laughs> <laughs> from Peaches. Nah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Um, oh God. <laughs> Uh, that, Wop makes, was, that song also makes me uncomfortable but Wop Wop was super funny well. to me it's like uh <laughs> it's like when people got what was the song where um like gross, what was the dude. song what was the song that Lil Nas <laughs> made where he he went to heaven and then got kicked out of heaven went down to hell and gave Satan a lap dance um <laughs> what song was that oh what's that I think I know it did Satan look cool or was he dumb looking um it is Montero um like um it's like Mon WAP got similar reception to Montero, right? People were like, "Oh my God, this shit is this is so vulgar and disgusting." <laughs> um, a similar deal to to WAP. <laughs> I, I agree. They actually had like a good beat to it too. Wop, it was like, is, no, 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 is kind of no, makes me no, un- no, makes no. me uncomfortable because it's not. I, a, not. I don't think it's a good song. I just think it's just weird. <laughs> I am. Yeah, not I, I'd rather have the hair guy. I'm not a huge fan of WAP personally. Um, it's just not my. It's just not my song. Is yeah, I like songs. I don't like them. Um, honestly, I listened to the song because I was only really there for Meg The Stallion because I'm a huge fan of Meg. Um, not, I've never really been a fan of Cardi, honestly. Um, I good for her I don't though. Even know who the fuck Meg The Stallion is? What the? Fuck? <laughs> is she a horse? <laughs> you're a literal. You're a literal That's old man. You're a literal. Like, you're a literal horse. old man. No, she's a, she's, a, she's a very sexy <laughs> she's a black cent- woman. She's a centaur. She's a very sexy black woman <laughs> who, who, who has centaur. who has who has a full human half. I'm just <laughs> she's she doesn't have she doesn't have a horse a horse's torso. She has, she's human. She's fully human. These um, pe- these people have the strangest names. I have to say. Well, you, well, you know, <laughs> all, like the Migos, all <laughs> yeah, three of them Chief are. Keith. The, no, the three Migos. <laughs> jo- jo- the, well, the me, the Migos is in reference to Migos is in reference to when they were younger. They were called the the three Amigos when they were younger. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, yeah, you got the Migos. The Migos is all are named. Uh, the Migos as members are Quavo, Offset, and Takeoff. R.P. Takeoff. Um, or was it Takeoff that died? Yeah, it was Takeoff, right? What the hell's Quavo? Quavo? Uh, I don't know what Quavo is. It's a, dip, it's a dipping sauce for chips. A Wait, a <laughs> Quavo. I remember that. In Mon, I remember that in Modern Warfare Two, when Ghost said, "said What does a Quavo mean?" A Quavo. That's oh. that's almost like it's an egg. Like, or like hell yeah. Yeah, or yeah. Like I remember. Is, uh, it's got a bunch of shit. You can use it. Gotcha. So it's it's more of a context based thing. It's like kumbaya. Or it's like alo- uh, aloha. Are you saying are you saying kumbaya? Cause I'm black. Fuck, dude. Kumbaya is not black, is it? I I, no. Black. Not only white people said that. Speaking of which, <laughs> I, I hit me say Huh? What? <laughs> Did you ask if I just want off? some crack chicken? Is that what you just fucking asked chicken. me? Crack chicken. With <laughs> that, with that, everybody. <laughs> We're over. If you guys want crack chicken, hit Borlon up. He's got a bunch of crack chicken. He's only selling to black chicken. folk. Like Be careful, me, it so. might it might poison you. He doesn't know only he does black not know how to only cook black chicken. people. He's he trying might, to, he's no, trying to kill put you. crack no, cocaine no mayo back into the <laughs> black community. <laughs> it's gonna give no, you no mayo. He doesn't cook it. Well. No, no mayo monkeys allowed. Yeah, no mayo monkeys. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs>